Guys, today we are seeing some significant whale movements. We are seeing 10,000 Bitcoin from seven years ago being moved. These are linked to the Mt. Gox era. And this is several hundred millions of dollars. We need to talk about this. Also, we're seeing Vitalik Buterin, the founder of Ethereum, transfer 40,000 Ethereum. And we are seeing our favorite whale doing something very interesting here. So I need to talk about what this massive, the most wealthy Bitcoin whale in existence is right now doing as well. So we do have a lot of things to talk about. I'm of course also going to update you on the market here. So stay put. So welcome back everybody. My name is Chris, bringing you cryptocurrency videos every day, teaching you how to make money in this market. If you are new to the channel, then make sure to subscribe and activate the bell right now. So let's get straight into it. So since I made my update video on my strategy moving forward, not much has actually changed. Everything is still going, you know, sideways. It's chugging along. And what you can see here is that every time we have gone down to the edge of my orange box, we have had a significant bounce and we have gone down one, two times, three times, four, five, and just a couple of days ago, we did go down and hit this level as well. So, uh, I mean, the support level here on the edge of the orange box is still holding up the Bitcoin price very well. So in terms of my strategy, as you know, we are right about to start to prepare for this massive bull market that is, I think is going to to be happening here for Bitcoin in a couple of months. Up to one year, I do think, is the timeline to prepare for this. As you know, as I explained in my strategy video, you usually do have this little bit of a build-up period, and then you have the halving, which is represented by this green line, and after the halving, you have massive gains. This is 10x from the point of which we start to go up here, but if you take it from the beginning of this period, so the previous bottom of the bear market, this is more like 600x we had here in 2012. So, uh, of course, if you take it from the bottoms, but this is 40x in the bull market after that. In the most recent bull market, we had 8x, again, from the uh, breakout point of the halving. So, we are approaching the halving. If I zoom out here, you can see that we're not that far from it. And we have had a long period here of just going down, going sideways. But I do think that the bullish times are going to come. We're still some ways off, but accumulating in this time period, moving into the halving, has been a good decision previously. So this is my strategy. We will see if that is going to work out very well moving forward. Now, before I talk about these massive Bitcoin whales, I need to give you an update on the bots. So as you know, on the bots here on OKX, one of them are up 2%, one of them only up 0.7%. But oh, at least it's they are not down, okay? They're not losing money. They are still up about 2%, here, which is not a bad idea. In fact, the price range I set here was actually 15,700. We went down and touched this level perfectly, as you see here by the edge of the orange box before going up. So the bots are still doing their job. These are bots I can have uh, running for, you know, um, a year, half a year, whatever it may be. And I hope that these are going to just continue based on my strategy to make me money here. So that's the update I have on the bots. I still have them open. They are still making money. And of course, if you want to sign up for the bots yourself, you need an OKX account. So make sure to sign up here up to $10,000 in bonuses on OKX right now. And also make sure to join my team over on OKX. You need to have 100 USDT in your account to join the team. But there are some very nice bonuses here. So uh, yeah, make sure to join that. You do have that link in the description. Now let's talk a little bit about Sam Bankman Fried because he is actually scheduled to speak in about five days. This is for New York Times and he has confirmed that he will be speaking. Well, is that going to be in live in person or is it going to be uh, over link? We will see, but this will be very interesting to see. And this just goes to show that no matter how much harm you've done to the crypto space and uh, for, uh, you know, people who lost a lot of money on FTX. If you have the right connections, things may not turn out to be that bad because the mainstream media have pretty much been backing Sam, trying to portray him in a much better light than what he deserves. But let's now talk about the whales. So someone just transferred 10,000 Bitcoin, which has not been moved since the Mt. Gox era. This is a massive event. Why did the whale move these Bitcoin? What do they know that we do not know? Are they going to sell these? Well, at this point, we are not sure. But still, this comes at a very interesting time because also Vitalik moved 40,000 Ethereum. So is he going to sell these? Did he just move it for 
for the fun of it, we don't know. But also, what's very interesting, and this is actually uh, pretty significant, is that you can see that the massive Bitcoin whale, the most wealthy Bitcoin whale in existence that we know of, uh, actually accumulated massive amounts of Bitcoin and right on the edge. You can see the prices here, 16,500, 16,900, 16,800, and so on. Accumulated massive amounts of Bitcoin here, and that price point was right here. So every time we hit this support level, the massive Bitcoin well just accumulated more and more Bitcoin. But then something interesting happened. So the interesting thing, thing that happened is that at the pretty much the same price point, the Bitcoin well unloaded all of these Bitcoin, namely 3,000 Bitcoin were unloaded between the 16th and the 19th at uh, the price point of 16,800. And what happened after that? So he unloaded the Bitcoin right here. So accumulate a lot of Bitcoin right as we were approaching the 19th here. And on the 19th, which is on this candle, he offloaded those Bitcoin and then we started to go down here. So this whale definitely knew something that we do not know. He got out early. I think that the Bitcoin whale was bullish, accumulating here at the massive support of my orange box, but then changed his mind and then the Bitcoin price went down. So this is why we need to keep an eye on what the Bitcoin well is doing right here. He managed to get out with 3000 Bitcoin here before we saw that big dump. But here's the thing, this Bitcoin well clearly is in it for the long term. If you know the history of this whale, you know that he has been accumulating Bitcoin from a very early price point and tend to buy more and more over time. Although sometimes he do sell off a chunk of the Bitcoin to then try to buy lower. Ironically, we are pretty much at the same price point right now from which he dumped these Bitcoin. A little bit of a profit, but not much. Also, when it comes to altcoins, guys, we are right now approaching a significant support level for the altcoins. Uh, we can still go down much lower here, but when you go down to the lower range here at like 16, 15 on the index, that is typically a very good point to buy altcoins at. So I will keep you updated if and when we go down to this level. I will keep you updated, so make sure to subscribe and activate the bell right now. Other than that, my strategy is still the same. We do have some more um, statements from the Fed officials saying that they are expecting rate hikes to be slowing down soon. This is what they said on the minutes show, and this is completely in line with my strategy as well. Have the inflation come a little bit under control, have the rate hikes slow down a bit. That's the perfect recipe for us to go down Form a bottom, have we hit the bottom already? We don't know, but you know, buying and accumulating as we're getting closer to the halving here, and then, you know, bullish action. This is what history has been showing us. Is history not going to repeat? Let me know down in the comment section. All right, guys, that's what I got for you still at the World Cup. So still a little bit of a um, irregular schedule in terms of videos, but I will keep you updated whenever something significant happens. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.